guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i haven't posted in a while okay the month of january that lasted so long kept me hostage and like i couldn't release any videos but i'm back i'm here and i'm ready to tell you all about the new video i always say happy new years because we don't really count january because that month was so bad but yeah it's now february it's now a uh, new year new month Okay, so today's video is all about um, getting a summer placement or an engineering scholarship. There's many out there, so I'm gonna tell you the types of scholarship available, the process, like the application, like how long it takes, cover letters, all of that. Um, what you get out from like the different types of scholarships and also a little bit about my experience because I'm telling you now, last year, back in first year when I was applying to like a million and one scholarships or placement, it was like rejection upon rejection upon rejection. I was, go I was not getting anything at all. I'm just like, wow. Okay, and the funny thing is, it takes like so long to fill out like, these applications. So when you're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and they're applying to these companies, and only for you to be like, oh, unfortunately you didn't, or um, you've not been shortlisted, or you haven't proceeded to the next stage of the, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, and then finally, I got one. I got a scholarship. First of all, why summer placements and like even industry or like scholarships, all of these are important, is that you gain the necessary experience while studying or taking a pause in your study before you actually get into the workplace because like you're more valuable if you have like two or three years of like what's called experience or like two or three summer placements rather than if you graduate and have zero experience i'm not saying that if you have zero experience you're not going to get a job but like you're, you're deemed as more valuable the more experience you have therefore like getting as many summers uh, get as many summer placement or, or again a, doing a year in industry is really helpful in your career path okay um so a year in the industry like some courses offer you a year in the industry so i'm actually on my full title civil engineering with architecture with a year in industry and so like it, the year in industry is normally between second and third year or depends on what uni you go to it depends on what year you do okay so in second year which is the year i'm currently in you start applying to different what's called different um companies and different like in industry placements and then depending on where you go, you go off for a year and then you come back in third year. And then a summer placement is like every summer from eight to 12 weeks, you do a placement with a particular company, whether it be on site or you're on the office as a consultant, it varies depending on what placement you get. And then a scholarship is just basically, they can, companies can choose to um, sp um, give you money throughout the duration of your studies they, that can range from like 5k to like i don't know whatever but they'll give you money and then you normally you work with them over the summer or you do a year in industry with them so those are the two different or three different types of things okay so in terms of scholarships i I've, I've got down three of the main ones for civil engineering or three of the ones i know first of all is a success which is a southampton based civil engineering scholarship the full title is southampton university corporate civil engineering scholarship scheme and um if you study at um, civil engineering at the university of southampton you can apply to success and it depends if you're in first or second year you can apply i don't know if it works for third year and basically what this what success includes is an annual bursary of i think 1.6k so every year you get 1.6 thousand pounds no 1,600 pounds. Um, you have summer work placements, industrial mental, and possible long-term employment upon graduation. And so I applied to success last year. And when I tell you, it was, um, I've never fumbled the bag quicker than that. It was just like, how many, what's called, how many, name the five universities you applied to. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do this. I could not remember the university I applied to. I didn't even say Southampton, what I'm currently sitting, because you do your interviews at the uni. You don't go to like London or whatever, you just do it at the uni. Um, yeah, that's one. Another one is Quest Undergraduate Scholarship. I heard of Quest before getting to uni, but I didn't apply, but I did know of Quest. Quest is basically, uh, you can apply to this while you're at sixth form. It's for like undergraduate students. So you can apply while you're sixth form, first year, second year, I think. So like I know people before they came into uni have already secured Quest, or they found out found out found out whether they got Quest around like the end of like October. And a quest is just like you get eight thousand pounds over the course of your studies, potential for a full time job with leading civil engineering or construction company upon graduation, a paid work 
a paid summer placement every summer and a IC Quest Scholar Badge. Oh, IC is an institution of civil engineering. It's um, our institution. Okay, so, and then another one is a Royal Academy of Engineering. I'm gonna link all these, all everything I'm talking about down in the description below, but that's basically like a run through of like the different types of scholarships available for civil engineers. Okay, so like, like with the process, since I got success, the process basically is, you have for success or for any like internal, when I say intern, anything run by your uni. So like I know other universities have like their own type of scholarship schemes for like different types of engineering as well. But the internal ones are much easier because it skips out a process. It goes from you applying and then Southampton sending that your application to the different what's called employees they have on their list. The employees will read, they'll handpick whether they want you or not. So I got two interviews this year and I got two last year. When I went to a while last year because I messed up. So I got two interviews this year and then you just go straight into the interview. Uh, and then depending on how well that interview goes, it depends on whether or not you get the summer placement or scholarship. So it's really like that. It goes from you, Southampton, and to the employers. It's like a three stage. But normally, don't get your hopes up, normally applications are like long. It'll go from like, sometimes there's even a pre-qualification test. Like you have to fit in like a questionnaire or test to, before you can even start the application. And then there's an application which can range from like an hour to two hours, I'm joking, even two hour plus. And then once you get the application, they simmer that down to like a video call interview. No, a pre-recorded interview. So I have a question and then there's a time where you're gonna answer it. There's that type of interview. And then before, after that, then you have like the actual interview. And then there's just like loads of, there's like five steps or six or seven while like internal applications are like three is really you apply in. If they like you, they like your application, they'll pick you and then you they interview. And what I found about the internal one with success is really all about your personality. They want to like you as a person rather than, oh yeah, I got a first in first year. Well, yeah, a lot of people can bring like a first to the table, or, like good grades, but they want to know what more can you bring to the table. So like, it's more than just what's called your academic so they were like, well, they want to know your personality, the different societies, the jobs you do that don't include civil engineering, all of that. So you really need to sell your personality, even if it's not A1. During that interview, make sure it is A1 and so you can get it. I was so happy when I got my, I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> because listen, I swear, I was so, I, to be honest, I didn't try as hard as I did last year. No, I didn't try as hard as I did this year, last year. Okay, so um, with what I found useful is that when it comes to applications, they are long and they do take time, but all of them are similar. So if you do one application, say you're applying to Arab and obviously it's a really, really long application. But if you do that properly, you can use the same questions and just like copy and paste it to different applications. Because I'm telling you, it's like, why do you want to do civil engineering? What's your hardest challenge? Three attributes about yourself, blah, 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 blah. They're all the same like format questions. So like if you do it perfectly once, even though it takes like three or four hours, you can use that for multiple applications. And another thing you should do, what I found is cover letters are so important. I didn't actually know what a cover letter or why you need a cover letter, just like read my damn application. But cover letters are important. It kind of like summarizes or condenses what you're basically saying in all like your bits and bob. It's basically saying who you are, why you're the best person for this job and what you can bring to the table. It's normally less than a page-ish. It should never be wrong on a page because then it's just an application. And then you attach your cover letter and your application and then send it both off. Um, another thing I would say is you do research before your interview, okay? That people like just wing it. No, listen, there's potentially five grand and like multiple summer placement on the line. I don't know about winging it, okay? You have to prepare and what I did with my application, uh, um, preparing for the interview is vital. Like look at the different types of, what's called, the different types of structures that are on, the different types of projects, what project interests you, the current projects, because it's very important to know what they're currently working at. Because they can even ask you as well, which one of these projects do you like? Oh, why do you want to join this company? Or oh, this, that, do you, you can't just wing it. Like I'm talking about the core values, why that resonates with you. Even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Oh, I see your family owned a family oriented company. I come from a very big family and I just see myself working in a dynamic, blah, blah, blah. You know, like it's all about using what you have and 
adapting it to the situation, okay? So research is so important. Obviously, don't go overboard. You don't want two, three pages. You just need a page and a half of, like, research about companies. Actually, I think I had a page for each of the two companies I had, so two pages, and it helped a lot. It wasn't really a memorization game. It was, like, like bullet points of, like, oh, yeah, they're working on the M27 or, like, the Heathrow or whatever, and then I'll look at that tell and then you know fill in the gaps of the knowledge already you have so that's really important um also that's preparing for the um with the company that's basic there's two types of preparation what i just told you is that preparing to like police the company knowing everything about the company you're with but then you also want to prepare for the questions they're going to ask you i know people say it's random but it's not really random because look and we do civil engineering there's only so much so many different types of questions you can ask me why do you want to do civil engineering you prepare for the most ge generic ones like why civil engineering three words your friends will use to describe you or the, even the random one like what's the hardest challenge you've had to the state or like one thing you think is bad about yourself, well, obviously they don't word it like that, but like prepare for those generic questions. Even if you think you've got it, still prepare. Like you can't over prepare. Well, you can, but just prepare. Another thing is I would say apply to as many applications or as many companies as possible. The more you apply to, the more likely you are to get the job or the more likely you are to get rejected. But like rejection isn't failure. It's just a minor setback, but you can carry on going until you reach your end goal. And so apply to as many, um, what's called, applications as possible. Because look, if you apply to one and then you get to the interview stage and didn't get the job, you've got, now you've got that what's called experience of like doing the interview you've got that oh yeah i've got this i might not have got to the the stage i wanted to but like now i've got that to back up this it's like especially for first year i didn't i had two interviews i flopped both of them like we don't even talk about that but because i flopped those interviews i had more mo motivation i had like the knowledge of why i did bad in those interviews to help me pass these two interviews because i was so nervous but it's all about being calm and collected looking them in the eye and me telling them you know what you're not choosing me i'm choosing you you that's some that's the mindset you need to have um i am choosing you okay once you have that mindset you you really can't flop the interview because you you'll be laid back you'd be asking them questions as well yeah you want to know things about me but i also want to know what you can offer me and um, basically that's all i have um good luck for whoever's applying to applications application series seasons really between like october or like late no like early november to like mid april because that's like the chunks they take. So it's really application season right now. So get doo -doo 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 -doo, get the money, get the bag, get the experience, because it's so important for this industry. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's so like information based, but I really wanted to put a video out there to really explain to people the different things available for you. Um, please like, subscribe, and tune in for the, my next video, which will be like next week or something.